I will be reviewing the Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation. I just purchased this foundation from Sephora. You do get it online at Nykaa. But I prefer going to a physical store and trying out the different shades and finding my perfect shade. Because the perfect foundation shade is very very much necessary if you are looking for the best flawless looking base. And Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation comes in 30 excellent shades from very fair to absolutely rich dark skin colors so if you belong to any skin color any undertone you will find a perfect match for you they also sell foundations with different undertones neutral undertones uh, warm and cool undertones so the shade that i picked up is butter pecan it is 330n this is an exact match for my skin tone this retails at a 3310 indian rupees or 40 us dollars you get 1.18 ounce or 35 ml of product which is a little bit more than the product amount that you get for other foundations having the same price range for the Estee Lauder double wear foundation or the Clinique even better foundation or even the MAC foundations they sell only 30 ml of the product but here you're getting 35 ml and this is what the packaging looks like it is the signature Huda Beauty logo and it has the shade here butter pecan so let me open it up Huda Beauty markets this foundation as something for which you will not require any sort of photo editing. It is supposed to give that four filter effect and it is very velvety and smooth. Other foundations having uh, the similar price range usually has glass body but this is plastic body but it does not make the foundation look very cheap. It still looks very luxurious maybe because of this gradient that is going on here. The packaging is very sturdy. When it comes with the pump applicator I love the fact that it comes with a pump applicator, it makes application so much easier. All the other foundations that I own do not have a pump applicator and it gets really messy and while traveling it leaks. This seems to be very travel friendly packaging for me and it's very very light. It also has this snap closure. already applied some minimal eye makeup with some uh, mascara and eyeliner and I've also primed my face with the NYX Total Control Primer. The consistency is not very thick. I was expecting it to be very thick. I'm just going to take in a little bit of the product because I don't want to cake a lot of it on. I don't know if it's going to be cakey or not. Feel like I've put on a lot of product it just feels like my skin it has completely covered any sort of acne scars or mark that I have on this side of the face and it also acts as a pretty good concealer I wonder if you can see the difference on camera but there is a very good soft glow that is going on here and it, the skin is smooth and plain I'll just apply a little bit more under the eyes It's definitely very easy to work with and very very blendable. And the shade is also a perfect match. We have a lot of different shades. You can go from very light to very dark and you will definitely find something that matches your skin tone. This looks very nice and pretty. On this side of the face I will be using a beauty blender. I'll mix the Huda Beauty foundation in with a face oil. It has a very light texture. Using a damp beauty blender, I tone down this foundation from a very high coverage to a sort of medium coverage. And here you can see that I still have a little bit of imperfections peeking through. And on this side, it's absolutely plain. Really like a shade, it is a perfect match with my skin. That's the look on the face. Uh, so, now a little bit about the product. I have just applied it on my face and it sets so well, it blends so well. Even though it is a full coverage foundation, it does not feel heavy on my face at all and it has a very nice, refreshing smell. 
I have never actually noticed any other foundation which is having such a nice smell. This is the only one where I have noticed a significant aroma that is coming out from the foundation. And the consistency is also very very light and velvety. It completely blends out the pores. And I'm going to wear it throughout the day and I'll keep giving you guys updates as to how it is holding up, how it is lasting. In my video, I will show you one side of the face with the makeup brush and the other side I will tone it down a little bit. Uh, Huda Beauty in her website says that you can also tone down this foundation and make it a sort of medium coverage if you mix it in with your favorite moisturizer or serum or face oil. In my case, I will be mixing it in with a face oil on one side of my face. For now, it is not feeling very dry. But but it is a little bit drier on the cheeks. I have combination skin and I have dry cheeks. So it's not feeling very uncomfortable yet. So I'm wondering how it is going to be throughout the day or if it is going to work well if you are coming from a very dry climate or in the winter months. So I've also applied a primer underneath it. It's not the Huda Beauty primer, it is another primer. So it will help increase the longevity of the foundation. This foundation also contains some essential oils like argan oil, which is supposed to make it glide on easier. And it is also supposed to be hydrating and good for the skin. The hydrating part, I will see how it works out. I'm not entirely sure about if it's going to be very good for dry skin because it does pull a little bit on my skin right now. I have set this foundation with a loose powder without a loose powder it was looking a little bit oily though it does fall under the matte foundation range it is not very glowy or dewy without uh, applying some sort of highlighter or mixing it in with a highlighter in general if you use it stand alone it does give a sort of matte effect so it is definitely going to be a very good foundation if you have oily skin or combination oily skin but for very dry skin I am yet to find out how that works I have dry cheeks it's pulling a little around my cheek area and I have not used any sort of concealer this is just the foundation that I've used as a concealer and it works pretty well it's that one product you don't need to use two uh, base products like foundation and concealer you can double this up as a concealer as well and it definitely definitely covers up all imperfections I cannot see a single acne scar on my face after using this foundation even when I mixed it in with a moisturizer it still gave a medium coverage and most of the light scars were covered up so you can definitely build this up and cover severe imperfections as well. If you have uh, freckles or uh, acne scars or even big acnes, it is going to help cover this up. For uh, textured skin, for a scarred skin, this is the excellent foundation. I think this is the highest coverage foundation that I've ever used. It's even high coverage than the double wear foundation from Estee Lauder that I love so much. If it holds well during the day and if it does not dry out my skin too much, I think it is going to take the number one position as the best full coverage foundation hi guys i'm just checking in on how the foundation is looking after like two hours of application i have not done much throughout the day i've just sat around but i'm not having air conditioning on so i suppose it is a little bit humid in here but it has held up pretty well there is no sort of patchiness and it is definitely not uncomfortable i thought at first that it is going to be very uh, not very a little bit drying but it is not drying at all and it looks pretty good but I don't think it photographs really well. It's it's making me look oily on video even though in real life it looks very very natural like I have nothing on and I have taken a few pictures with this and I will show it to you. I'll link it somewhere in the, on the screen. It does not look good on photographs. It, it, it makes me appear like I have a lot of stuff going on on my face whereas in reality if you see me in person I don't look like that. So I really don't know why it is like this. It is supposed to be for filter. You're supposed to be able to look better in photographs wearing this but in reality I think it looks way better in person than it does in photographs.